Hi, my name is Jordan and I'm a physical therapist and I'm here today to talk to you about your vestibular system. So your vestibular system is a small set of organs that sits in your inner ear and it works together with your vision system as well as your um, joints to take in information from the outside world, send that information to the brain, and then the brain is going to take that information from the outside world, send back information back out to the muscles to make sure that you can walk and stay balanced and move around in the world. It's a great system, but unfortunately, when things go wrong, we can get issues. So especially when we have issues in our vestibular system, we end up getting vestibular disorders. So what are some symptoms of vestibular disorders? Well, we can have things like being off balance, feeling um, like you're going to fall over or having falls. We can have uh, vertigo, which is the feeling of either you spinning or the world spinning around you. We can have more of a general dizziness, which is a lightheaded feeling, a rocking feeling, something just doesn't feel right. Uh, blurred or bouncing vision. Nausea is a common symptom of vestibular disorders. Changes to your hearing or ringing in your ears. Problems with thinking, concentration, or memory. When your system is working really hard to stay balanced, it's often very hard to also uh, remember what people have told you or concentrate on other things at the same time. You can get headaches, muscle aches, and back aches motion sickness, sensitivity to bright lights and noises, or fatigue that really gets in the way of functioning normally in the world. So um, what are some causes of vestibular disorders? We can have specific causes like a head trauma, falling and hitting your head, being in a car accident, having an ear infection that can also actually affect our vestibular system. There are certain medications and drugs that are toxic to our vestibular system. We can also have things like strokes and tumors that affect the parts of the brains or the nerves that are responsible for our vestibular system. We can also have really no known cause for our vestibular disorder. So diseases such as Meniere's or um, what we call BPPV um, can be diseases that, and disorders that come on for no apparent reason. And then finally aging. As we age, our vestibular system um, often ages with us and then a lot of people um, end up getting decreased muscle strength and flexibility which can affect how our whole system interacts. So vestibular disorders are diagnosed through a variety of methods. Um, we can do hearing tests, we can uh, do tests that look at specific eye movements. The eyes are a great um, window into our vestibular system. And then we can also do balance tests to look at how our system is staying balanced. The good news is there's lots of treatment options for vestibular disorders. So we can do things called positioning maneuvers. So if there's um, a small piece of our vestibular system that's actually um, out of place, basically, we can move around um, to get it back into place. And that's common with what we call BPPV. We can um, get physical therapy or occupational therapy by a trained therapist um, where you can do exercises both in the clinic and at home. We can have diet and lifestyle changes to help with our symptoms. Medications and surgery are sometimes needed for certain vestibular disorders. And finally, counseling. Having a vestibular disorder can sometimes be very hard to cope with and deal with, so seeking counseling is often a great treatment option. The good news is also Vestibular Disorders Association is here to help you. So there are great online resources, um, online support groups, listings of her providers that are trained in treating individuals with, with vestibular disorders. And finally, if you call or um, email Vita, uh, we have wonderful representatives who will help get you the right resources you need. So please check out vestibular.org for more educational resources or call Vita at 1-800-837-8428. Thank you for watching and I hope this video was helpful. Bye.